Hello YouTube, it's been a couple of weeks since uh, I did a video, or getting that way anyway. I thought we'd have a look at uh, links again, and uh, well it came to my attention that some people didn't know how to get links to run in frame buffer or direct FV mode. So what I've done is, um, I was messing around today with a virtual machine, I've got a virtual machine up and running as you can see, it's actually Arch Linux. So all this stuff that I'm about to talk about, talk about rather, is uh, is geared towards Arch Linux. But you can, with a bit of manipulation, apply it to different distributions. For example, in Debian, it's much easier. You just install a Lynx 2 package, and uh, you're fine right as rain, as long as you've got the frame buffer enabled. Um, same with Ubuntu, because it's uh, Debian derived. Uh, Gen 2 is a little bit more complicated. You actually have to use the use flag DirectFB, and uh, there are a couple of other use flags I think that might be needed there. But anyway, the point is that uh, you can use links in a uh, frame buffer mode. Now, I'm going to show you what it's like without a frame buffer mode. So let's install uh, links as per normal. Pac-Man, oh, what am I doing? I'm on the other screen. That's not good. Uh, just get rid of that. Now, as we, we try and keep it real and you know, erase our mistakes. Anyway, Pac-Man um, links. Now, this is the, oh, not Pac-Man. And R Pac-Man S. Uh, this will be the default Pac-Man. It's a very small package and it will be very quick to install. 1.96 megabytes as you can see there and installed to 4.37 megabytes. So I'm just installing that now. As you can see a dependency of it is GPM which is the same if you want to run it in uh, direct um, in um, frame buffer mode. But the point is is that when I run... now that's basically installed. Okay so um, the next thing will be to try and run, run it. So I'll just go to my user. Okay, now if I try links uh, ggoogle.com, look at this. Graphics not com uh, enabled when compiling. I'm surprised, to be frank, uh, that Arch Linux wouldn't include um, the direct FB capabilities of links. I think this major draw card of links is over such competitors as eLinks and links with a Y instead of an I. But that really, that little bitch that I'm, I'm having there is not really, and I don't mean to use that in a derogatory term, I am um, whining, I guess you could say, that little whine about uh, links not having that. Well, that's just a personal preference. A couple of other personal preferences which I think are errors in, uh, in Arch Linux, but nonetheless, a good distribution of GNU slash Linux. Anyway, without further ado, let's take a look at what we're doing. So first I'm going to remove this. Let's get back there. Ah, exit. Let's get back and delete links. Alright, it's interesting, remove size is a bit different. That's probably because the dependencies are still there. Anyway, um, if we go, the first step really is to make sure that you've got a frame buffer enabled. Now those of you who have got KMS, kernel mode setting, all up and running, tickety-boo, that's not going to be an issue for you, but for the others, let's have a look at what can you do. Because if kernel mode setting is going to work, well, you're going to need um, the XORG drivers appropriate for your um, for your card, such as the Navu driver for um, NVIDIA cards, such as the um, the ATI, the Radeon graphics um, graphics uh, driver, and by default Intel you can do KMS anyway because it's all free and open source. We don't have any proprietary drivers for Linux, Google GNU slash Linux that I'm aware of. But the next bit, okay, so let's have a look at uh, at our um, Uh, and menu LST file. Now, if we have a look in here, if you have a look in here, we can see that I've put a VGA773 at the end there. Oh, Curse is not coming up, but the point is that I've put a, a VGA773 there, and that enables me to have frame buffer mode because the kernel has that module enabled. If you're on a distro that doesn't, well, you're going to have to enable that in the kernel. But anyway. So that's that's fine. We've got a we know that we've got a frame buffer working there. Okay, the next step is to install Yalt. Okay, Y A O U R T. It's very handy um, for installing source packages. Oh, it's not going to call them packages, but uh, source files that um, Arch Linux supports. So if we go to um, if we go to cd or etc slash pacman .conf, and this is a way to go. Sorry, not a CD. A nano. This is a uh, way to go, basically. Uh, so, what I mean by that is that we'll be showing you um, everything that you need uh, to get up and running. Um, okay, and server. Server equals ah, space, isn't it? 
equals HTTP repo dot arch linux dot fr slash and your architecture so if you're using x um not if you're using amd 64 you need to specify that so and that should be like fine i don't see anything wrong with that right so i do a quick pacman yeah uh dash s y which means it'll update um my databases So just let that do its trick. Uh, this might be a bit of a long video um, because it's got a bit of compiling to do. But I wanted to show you where to go basically what to do because I think a few people out there are a bit confused. I know that on the Linux for You and Me channel on uh, irc.freenode.org, a couple of uh, users there have told me that they wouldn't mind a video on, on said topic. So just wait for that. Yes, proceed. Now, uh, when you're using Yelp, because it uses scripts and things like that, and we don't know how trustworthy those scripts are, although we assume that the people in the community are not trying to harm Arch Linux anyway, it's advisable that you do not do this as root when you install when you use Yarut. It's basically a wrapper for Pacman for source files as well. It can do everything basically the Pacman can do, but also deals with the the source files. So, or package builds, as I think they're called. <coughs> Anyway, the next command we're going to issue is yalt, because we're going to be installing links with direct frame buffer support. Dash s links dash g dash direct fb. Okay, as I said, I'm doing it as a root just to facilitate things a bit, but you should really do this as a user. Just remembering my excuses, I'm in a virtual machine and there's no privacy issue here, there's a vanilla build. So we won't be edit editing the package build. and we will continue and we will install so while it's doing this so I should probably um, tell you a couple of things you um, you need to be part of the video group to ena enable direct FB access because I think it it uses slash device or forward slash device forward slash FB0 as it's means to paint the uh, graphical images. The beauty of using links in graphical mode is you get to not only have a nicer, somewhat nicer interface, not black and white anymore, but um, also you get to see pictures and things like that. I've heard rumours, don't know how true it is, but uh, some people have uh, talked about using it for playing video. I find other ways such as VLC to be quite effective at playing videos or um, uh, YouTube videos and things like that. You might want to try NVLC which is a form of VLC that runs in in cursors mode. But as that uh, does its little trick, now see this? Building at packages root is dangerous. Mm. Not on this system it isn't. But if you're using this on a production system or a system you care about, your privacy, whatever, don't don't run it in uh, root mode. As I said, you be careful with these things. Um, have a look at the security issues with Arch Linux on Wikipedia. Not that I'm saying that there are a lot, but one, one or two things that would probably be a concern to some people. Um, as a gentle user said the other day, he, that gentle user will remain name, nameless, I guess, on IRC. But he said, you know, how how good can the QA be, quality assurance be, if they're just basically installing packages that are upstream stable? Which is fair enough. I don't think they always do that, but um, you know. There's a tendency to that. Look, KDE was installed so damn quickly. You know, KDE 4.6 was installed up to, you know, on the repos very, very quickly. You know, um, I think a day or two, maybe even that day, that it was released by the uh, KDE community. So, I'm not going to vouch or denigrate Arch, Arch Linux security. I've had no security issues that I've detected for the last couple of months, I guess. But there's there's the QA issue. There's also uh, I think there's some sign. I don't think packages are signed. They're checked for um, their hashes, but um, you know like MD5 some or something like that. They probably use a hash hash check. But uh, whether they're actually signed or not is a, another issue. You can check that on Wikipedia. So, but we just wait for this to um, compile, and uh, well, it'll take a few minutes as. Uh, 
anyone I'm not going to try and shorten the video or anything I think you should experience it as it is and of course running in a virtual machine it's going to be uh, running a little bit or uh, well, compiling will be a, bit, a little bit slower so the other thing as I said mentioned earlier that uh, it requires GPM and GPM is a uh, basically a command line mouse a terminal mouse uh, daemon and um, on uh, on this uh, on the GNU social Linux system, it seems to be well configured. I've tried using the mouse daemon on FreeBSD. I have a couple of issues with that before. If you, you know, haven't got got certain things set up, your mouse set up properly, it uh, it plays silly games with you. So the other thing too is, uh, and I'll show you later, is uh, if you want GPM to start at boot, of course you need to add it to your daemon's line. And as I said, I'm not going to be skipping any processes in this video because I don't want anyone to miss out. I'll probably put the uh, instructions and in the um, instead of doing a huge introduction to it, I'll just show you how the um, instruction or what you do with the instructions uh, in the comments line. Anyway, are we going to continue installing? Of course we are. We just go yep. Okay, so now if I'll show you a couple of caveats here, so we'll just go into the ubiquitous. 1980 account right if I do links whoa direct FB of course I told you we need to be part of the video group so I'm pretty sure I told you that before so we just exit out we go G password ubiquitous 1980 a oh maybe I should have put dash a before we'll see how it works to video ah yeah, see, order matters with this command. Some commands you get away with, order does not matter. There we go, adding user because 1980 group video. So the next caveat, and we'll do the same command. Oh no, no GPM mouse, of course. So get GPM mouse up and started. And uh, how we do that is forward slash etc rc dot d GPM start. Excellent. So if we sue ubiquitous1980 again, switch user. Oh, ah, that's interesting. I had no issue before. We might exit completely. Let's see if that that mouse is working. So we'll just go in properly, and we'll link. Oh, I'll probably got in the uh, history anyway. Bingo. Well, I did have a couple of issues with this before. When I tried it, uh, namely with the um, the mouse, but it seems to be working fine. And, and you'll see what I'm talking about. If we go to images and do maybe a search for, uh, just tap that in there, Arch Linux, and you can see that we can get images up. And I mean, it's not looking that crash hot at the moment, but I have seen videos look look quite, uh, not videos, uh, pictures look quite nice so we'll just probably click on that and see how that goes hopefully the other's not too big is it 318k ah oh, it's not showing should you show full image device going there you go doesn't look too bad does it good enough for surfing in the uh, CLI anyway Q for quit okay of course you wanted I said before you you need to make sure that um, that uh, each time you run this up uh, we'll run it each time you boot you can have GPM up and up and started prior you won't be doing that um, start the daemon every time there's nothing wrong with GPM so include it so go down and we well, might as well just chuck it in there hey that's that's basically it guys um, if you wanted to go straight to a website, by the way, we'll just get out of this. The way to do it is links G. Uh, oh, I probably did. Yeah, I did Google.com before. Anyway, that's optional too. That you can just run links G. And if you want to go to a particular website, see it comes up blank. If you want to go to a particular website, you go um, say www.archlinux.org. Bingo. Anyway, I hope that's explained everything. Any questions, please put in the comments section. I will be putting the instructions, as I said, in the comments. So, uh, in the sorry, in the um, well, 
I've used the word comment twice, which section are we talking about? The video comment section as opposed to the user comment section. Just remember guys, you need to use that Arch Linux France repo, um, so don't tell me you know you can't install you out because I've shown you how to do that. Follow the instructions pretty much verbatim. You might have a few issues with getting frame buffer mode enabled, but you will know that you've got frame buffer enabled if your text is small, and by small, I mean to say as small as when you're running a terminal emulator under Hexorg. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's been a pleasure bringing it to you. It's another video for me. Hopefully I won't leave it two weeks again before I produce another one. I've got an IR SSI one brewing, learning about some of the features. Look, people have been telling me that there's plugins for the damn thing. I have no clue. It doesn't seem that I can find plugins for it. Or I think they've got scripts. don't know about plugins though. But uh, that video shall be coming up fairly shortly. Anyway... That's it for me. I'm just damn well trying to get back into that uh, terminal. <laughs> the things we do in GNU Society. I want it. Things are being a bit strange, aren't they? Ah, here we go. How odd. I don't know why this is happening. Oh, I'm not going to hide it from you guys. I want to see what's going on here. Ah, there we go. Oddness. Katie bugginess. Is it? Who knows? Anyway, guys, enjoyed bringing this video to you. Give me some comments, user comments, and be merry. See you next time.